Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron, where I have discovered something peculiar. There we go, I was wondering if it was going to pop open the game. Fantastic. So, this is weird, right? I don't recall ordering this. I don't know what this guy is doing. He's apparently walking into Caracas. Well, that's the thing, I guess. He's just part of this division, or rather, part of our Coast Guard over here. I guess he did a naval invasion? Or maybe he just walked in. And these guys closed the gap after him. I suppose that's a possibility, but that's weird, right? Like, that's really weird. Also, this division, or rather this attack order here, doesn't have any divisions assigned to it. I'm trying to... Oh yeah, of course we're not going to select the units assigned to it. There are no units assigned to it. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this order. And we're going to give them a new offensive line order. Just like that. We're going to leave this be for now. We're going to try to pincer in this. We'll see how that works. I don't expect it to work super well. Also, why do we have 30k every time I open the game? I'm very confused by this. As I said before, I don't think it actually matters in any meaningful way, but it's weird. I don't know, maybe it's some sort of obscure bug that I don't understand the cause of. That's very possible, but we're going to go ahead and tick forward here. And we actually do have a couple of situations going on here. Specifically, they've managed to push through up here again. This isn't shocking because we're still arranging our units over this way. We're working on it, but it's going to take some time to get these guys over here. So we're probably going to have some losses over here in the meantime. That's to be expected. We took some pretty major losses over here, actually, but it looks like we did manage to stack wipe these guys at some point in the last little while. Oh, and we have a second area over here. It looks like there wasn't anyone there, though. So we'll just grab that quickly as we can. That'll be fine. And yeah, the manpower just disappears. I don't know. I got nothing. Regardless, we're going to continue to try to push in over this way. Venezuela capitulated when we took their capital. This guy was just walking in. That's huge. Actually. I didn't expect them to, cap to capitulate when we took their capital. Okay. So, we need to make a couple of alterations here then. These guys... We need to make sure that we have these 11 units grabbed here. And we're going to offensive line like this. Go ahead and execute that. Over here, we're going to delete this order. We're going to select everyone who is assigned to this line. And they are going to try to offensive line like that. And they can go ahead and execute that. Now... We're probably going to lose some territory over here. I don't think we can get our troops into these locations fast enough to wipe this up. But even so, this is pretty huge. And this we might be able to clean up. I am concerned about the American units here walking this direction. To that end, I'm going to tell these two garrison units to just come up over to here for right now. There's also this tank division that's going to be landing, but I think unless they have a naval invasion planned, they can no longer land at Miranda, which I'm guessing was their planned destination based on what I'm seeing here. So let's see what happens here if we tick forward. They just disappeared, and I think that's the Republic of Bulgaria. I'm not sure where they ended up going. Oh, is this some up here? No, that's infantry. I'm not sure where that tank division went. These guys appeared, but I think we just didn't have intel on them. We have very patchy intel. That's for sure. And we're struggling to push up over here. That's to be expected. 
And we did at some point finish off that tank division. That was only a matter of time as long as we could keep the pressure on. So that's fine. The real question is... Can we hold them off down here? That's the real question here. We are actually winning some attacks over here, and that's really good to see. Really, really good to see. We have air wings with no mission or region assigned. Where are you based? Where is this? Inter Palmer. You're based up here. We already have an air wing assigned to Eastern Germany. And then there's this air wing here, which should be also assigned to Eastern Germany. Yes. So this air wing, I think, was intended to be Western Poland's, but no, this was. For now, we're going to send them down to Czechoslovakia. I think that'll be the most useful location for them. Okay, we'll call that good. And we are just grabbing territory up here. Like, Russia is not really resisting us over here. Like, all of their units are up on this front. Like, all of the ally units in general. There are a few allied units over here, but very few. And as we're moving more units over here, we're going to be able to push this faster. And we may actually be able to get Russia to capitulate. The key to this... Besides getting these guys out of here. The key to this will be holding over here. We do have an unassigned division here. We're going to assign that into this unit, which has taken some losses. Okay. We don't have that much for units over here right now. It will take time for them to get there. We're seeing wins and losses over here, and that's about what I expect. We're going to continue to get pushed back over this way, I feel like. We need more units here, more than anything. That's what we need. Just to hold this line. I don't really care about pushing here right now. I just want to hold. Okay. Okay. So how do we want to do this? What exactly is the penalty for exceeding the army cap limit in an army group like this? I don't actually know what that penalty is. Hypothetically. Let's check. So these guys over here. If we were to grab, say, these 24 and make another unit out of them. And move them in here. Does this say? Reduce all positive commander trait and skill modifiers. Okay. How much does that actually matter to an army group, though? In a situation like this, where I think that what they just need is more bodies at the front, it might be worthwhile. Now, we could just shorten their location and manually assign these guys. That's going to become a big mess very quickly. So I prefer to avoid that. Let's just see if we can feel a difference between six and five units. And we'll get these guys over to the front, and we'll need to make sure to assign them into here. We're also going to need to pull some units, and I'm going to do this from the Coast Guard again. We're going to need to pull some units just into these armies. So we'll pull this one into here. This one into here. This one into here. We're, we're just looking to get units to the front right now. I'm not currently concerned with composition, although we should be concerned with composition. But right now, I'm not concerned with composition. I just want to get some additional units to those lines. We would need six units from here. So we'll grab six and do that. And then we need another four. I really don't like doing this. But there we go. 
They're not good units, but they're units. Okay, so at this point, we do have this unassigned division. And for now, I regret putting those into these. We'll just put it into the Coast Guard, I guess, and we'll try to remember that it's de there and remove it as a priority later on. That'll be fine, I guess. How are things going over in Iraq? We're actually pushing in. There's still no defenders over here. They're really not doing much there. I'm just thinking. This is interesting, isn't it? These guys are part of the American Union, but they're not called into the war. Yeah, we can't enter that province. Interesting. They haven't called all of their allies yet. We are pushing into the Iraqi Republic, which I guess is okay. How are things going over here? Uh, they've kind of linked up again. These guys have pushed out, and that was expected. Yeah, they've pretty much linked up again. But I think that's okay. We're going to push this guy out fairly soon. Interesting spot for a nuke. Not necessarily where I would have gone. I do want to check. Yeah, this is part of northern South America. We've struggled to get proper air defense in northern South America basically this whole time. That said, we may be able to build additional anti-air over here, and indeed we can. So we're going to get started on doing that. Excellent. Now all of this up over here, it's going to take a while for all of these units to get to the front. And I'm aware of that. We'll see how that ends up going. It's going to be interesting, I think. We're definitely making rapid gains over here. We're taking some losses over here, although it's not super fast. And I think that as our troops get over to the front, it will get better. Ah, this infantry division here, I want to assign over here. Excellent. That was one of our infantry divisions finishing up. Now we don't have the manpower to fill this one out for a little while, but if we keep capturing territory from Russia at this rate, we kind of will. They have some units over here now, but they're not really existing down where it matters. So I'm okay with this. We will simply keep pushing forward. You can see over here that we've already lost a unit in this army. So we're going to go into our Coast Guard here and grab this unit and assign it in there. Okay. That unit that we remembered was in there. What's going on over here? These guys are walking away. Okay. I definitely feel like we need more troops over here. I'm wondering what's going on over here, though. Hmm. Are they leaving some of this undefended? No, they're just, like, rotating the troops. This is going to fall. That's okay. I don't mind that falling. If Moscow falls, that'll be good. Actually, at this point, I think it's more when Moscow falls, not if. It looks like they're not even trying to defend it, which is an interesting tactic, let's say. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this into a new army. And we're going to start filling out this order over here with that army. Okay. There is, there is some resistance over here. But we've made huge gains in Russia. Just because they don't seem interested in defending it, like, in the slightest. 
Here's another unit of modern tank. We're going to assign that here. That did not go well. We're going to assign that here. There we go. That was more like what I wanted it to do. Now, these 10 divisions... Gonna take Caracas. I'm okay with that. These 10 divisions here. They're moving into Caracas. That's fine. More nukes going off over here. I question that decision making, but sure. Let's go ahead and have these guys forget about this order. Their goal is actually to frontline over here. And push in like that. They can go ahead and execute that. Not spearhead, but execute. Are we heading in here? Yes, we are. Okay. We'll allow that. We have made gains here, so that's great to see. We've also made a few gains over here, although this is very slow going. That's fine. I don't mind that. Our primary goal right now remains Moscow. Now, if we look at the resources over here, there's some steel here, there's some steel here. Most of the steel is further south. What we'd really like to do is push a spearhead all the way down over here. But that would be after we take Moscow. And we're still heavily moving troops in this area. So that will take additional time. The problem is, we are definitely getting pushed back in Europe. And I feel like having this at 6 of 5 is actually quite detrimental. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this army out, remove all of its orders, and we are just going to have it frontline defensively across this entire front, if I can get that to come up. Maybe. There we go. Uh, there. Frontline across that entire front. Just provide defensive cover. Get in there. So these guys are going to reorient a little bit. And these guys will head on in. They'll get there eventually. Many of them are already there, but they're only going to be there in a defensive capacity. That's the goal, anyway. This is now saying that we are stronger than the enemy. I'm going to move this guy up to balanced. If we're stronger than the enemy, I'd like to push our advantage. Okay. It's a little surprising we haven't gotten this before now. But we have mutinies in the army. We're going to hold the patriotic speech before the mutineers. That's going to hurt our political power tremendously. But that is, I guess, okay. Going to hide those for now. And that as well. Okay. So we're going to need to work up our political power again, of course. But that'll take some time. So we're continuing to push into Moscow here. And we're actually really close now. We are really close to Moscow. That is impressively close. These guys are rearranging along the line. Their entire purpose is to reinforce our defensive structure here. And we'll see how successful they are at that. But I'm really... Look at this. This is now claiming that we are vastly stronger than the enemy. It was just far weaker than the enemy. But may maybe they pulled troops back? Their numbers are smaller, that's for sure. I think they may have pulled back troops. Perhaps they're responding to our push up here. Actually, yeah, we can see there are definitely more troops showing up over here. They're responding to this, which means that we want to take the advantage over here. Hopefully we can succeed in that. But I think that we still get Moscow. 
Looks like they have some forces attempting to defend it now. That's fine. We're going to continue to push in, and we can see what the fill-in looks like. It looks like about like that. That's fine. I'm okay with this. How are we doing with our strategic air map mode? Things are looking better. Looks like our fighter production is improving. How are we doing on that? This is now saying we need for upgrades. I'm not sure that's true. Like, this has been fairly unreliable. That said, we are up to 94 military factories working on fighter threes. And our production efficiency is increasing. So we're getting better there. But I don't think we're quite where we need to be yet. Looks like we're still giving some ground over here. That's to some degree to be expected as we reshuffle our attackers over here. And our defenders are getting into position. But it's up here that I'm really interested in right now. Nationalist what? Nationalist Belarus. Okay. Interesting. So I was like, is this like National Spain up here? But no, it's Belarus. That makes more sense, to be sure. I'm just wondering what exactly is going on here. This is our offensive line. That's fine. If they're pulling troops off of this line, taking them back this way, it's going to take them a long time. I mean, we do see troops on the way in. They're definitely coming in. They've identified this as a problem. And they're right, it is. But they should have identified that when we were all the way up here. We have an unassigned division here. In fact, we have two unassigned divisions in Portuguese Timor. And that will need to go into here. I don't trust sending them over to our front lines over there yet. But this unit can definitely up into here. Excellent. Hang on. These two are over in South America, aren't they? Yeah, I don't necessarily want to send them overseas. We're going to assign them here. Okay. So we'll just do something along the lines of that. And I also want to select only the units assigned to this order. And I'm going to delete this order. And I'm going to tell them, just do an offensive line like you were thinking about doing before. Something like that. A little more balanced. We've got 10 divisions attacking over here. I don't think that the New York division here is going to stand up to that for too much longer. Of course, this modern tank brigade has been doing a pretty good job. Hello, pause menu. This modern tank brigade has been doing a pretty good job, but that's fine. We're continuing to push in towards Moscow. That said, we are falling back here, technically. That might be okay. I mean, we still have a lot of units on their way up to the front, right? So that's fine. We're showing us stronger than them in both fronts at this point, which is insane. We just got another 30k manpower bump. It's 17 June. I don't think that's a bug at all. I think it's something to do with taking these territories. I mean, these have almost 2 million population in them, so I'm guessing that's what it has to do with. This manpower is going to go away. Like, instantly. And it's gone. Yep. Whoa. That's 100k. That's a lot of manpower. These divisions can be, at this point, honestly assigned over here. I'm going to make them into... Probably, what division are these guys in? They're in over here. Sure. I'm going to assign them to this order. So this is not just going to disappear overnight, I think. It disappeared overnight. <laughs> well, that just goes to show how much manpower we need. It's a good thing that we got that, then. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at this. Nice encirclement there. In fact, that's probably going to be a stack wipe. Look at their organization drop. Oh, yeah. That's going to stack wipe. 
Uh, we might get an overrun. It technically didn't stack. Wipe, they're retreating over to here. We're not taking that territory. We're going to send these guys over this way, though. No, they're not ready yet. Okay. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. We are within spitting distance of Moscow, but they are definitely shifting a lot of troops over to this front now. This is, however, opening up an opportunity for us over here. And we're going to look to take advantage of that next episode. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.